Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here, and it's been a while since I've done a video, so I thought, why not? But you're in for a treat, because this week I bought two DVDs, and it finally came out, although one came out earlier than the next, but I'm glad it did, because I waited a long time for it to finally arrive, but here it is. It's Animaniacs, which just came out this week. It's a free disc set that's volume 4. And it's also the final volume uh, out of the Animaniacs series, which they just released, released all three volumes since 2006. And I'm glad they finally came out for the first time. And, of course, the one that came out in January is Tiny Two Adventures. Crazy Crew Rescues Volume 3, which is the new release that came out after the first two volumes was released since 2008. So, yes, and I'm glad they finally came out as well. Well, I'm going to start with Tiny Two Adventures because this has always been one of my favorite shows of all time back in the 90s because I started watching them since it first aired in September of 1990 on Fox 11, KTTV Los Angeles uh, during its first run syndication before it became part of the Fox Kids lineup in 1992. So anyway, this third volume of Tiny Toot Adventures happens to be the best one of all prior to the other two, except this one only carries two discs in there and it has some of my favorite episodes. One of them includes uh, the episode, which is supposed to be a parody of the movie Con Tiki, is called uh, Con Ducky, which Plucky Duck eventually does his own film, and he even did his own uh, behind-the-scenes footage of it, which is cool. I love that episode. It was hilarious, and I thought it was very well done, especially the <laughs> especially those takes that that they had to do in the film, such as the mango juice part. He says. Ah, mango juice. Bah! Yeah, it was hilarious. I, I just can't stop laughing at that episode so much. Yeah, because my favorite character has always been Plucky Duck, you know. But, you know, I always loved the cast as well. Also, I had some great episodes here, too. In fact, there's even one episode that eventually got banned from, from other networks, such as Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network. Because they did air this on Fox Kids and in syndication, originally. It was, of course, the episode Elephant Issues, which was supposed to be uh, a parody of, of all these after-school specials. Uh, one, of course, was Why Dizzy Can't Read, which eventually, you know, he had trouble uh, reading. Because, unfortunately, they thought, you know, it's because he's pretty much sitting around watching TV. Yeah, I know, I didn't... I didn't like that episode that much, but you get the idea. And then there was another episode about Clyde, the, the robot, who was a new student in class, but unfortunately, uh, not people couldn't uh, handle him because he was a lot different from everybody in the class. Yes, sort of like what happened. Of course, Montana Max, however, is the bully in this one, so yeah, because he started making fun of him. So he finally gets his revenge. <laughs> anyway. And of course it has the infamous episode. Which eventually that's what started the whole episode. That got banned. From networks. And that's of course. The one beer episode. Which which Buster. Plucky and Hampton. Were all drinking one bottle of beer. And eventually they got all drunk. <laughs> and they started doing all these wacky adventures. Until, until they fallen into their deaths. So it's supposed to be of the bad influence of alcohol, yeah, because it does affect you. See, it's a good thing I never drink or, or do any drugs or any of that crap, because I'm not really into that shit. So, yeah. It's a lovely set. It's a great set that they came up with. I'm happy that it finally got released. See, it, see that was the, the box right here. Came right out. This is the DVD itself. Of course, it comes with a crappy... Eagle box case, but you get the idea. So you can see the, the first disc in red and the second disc in blue. So 
good so far. I still miss those clear cases that they had uh, during its last release, and I thought that was a whole lot better than those crappy Eagle Box cases, but you get the idea. Anyway, um, um, and Animaniacs, on the other hand, which I haven't opened yet, but I definitely will because I want to get to the last part of the volume. This just came out this week, which is good. I'm glad it did. Because I waited a long time for this to come out since the last release that came out in 2007, which is Volume 3. And boy, did I wait that long for this because this was at the time when they had it on sale at, at Suncoast when it was still around. And it was a great set. Um, and I got to watch it for a while. And this is, of course, the final volume, which was last aired on Kids WB. Has some great episodes here. It's been a while since I've last seen it, but I, I'll take my chances once I open this. But either way, I'm happy that it finally came out. And I can't wait to watch this. <laughs> because it's an awesome set. See, you can see the, the back. And everything. Yeah. And, um, so, anyway, I'm, I'm happy that I finally got them. It's a great deal. They had it for $27.98, which would have been on sale for, for you know, a lot less than I expected. And they also had, and surprisingly enough, Tainted Adventures was less, too. It was $14.99, so that's good. Good deals. Um, I've yet to get the movie How I Spend My Vacation, which came out in 2012. I'm glad that finally came out, so I'll buy that later. And then hopefully they'll release the rest of Tiny Toot Adventures because I've really been waiting so long for that. So I finally get to have the entire series now, along with Animaniacs, Picky in the Brain, and Freakazoid. Yeah, a lot of Steven Spielberg Presents titles. So anyway, I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.